All right, fellow pilots. So welcome to this channel, I guess, right? My name is Jose and I'm going to show you guys how I record Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 in virtual reality. Now, if you're at this point, I'm going to assume a couple things. You have the sim, you have a powerful computer and you have it running. If you guys need help to get Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 running, check the official forums, but also check out the Facebook group. Um, there's been a lot of members helping out and it's honestly been amazing. People have been reporting that they finally got the sim running. I mean, I've been learning from other members, so there's a lot of people there. They're helpful, they're friendly, and that's kind of important to me because there's uh, no trolls, so don't challenge that. Uh, but other than that, uh, there's a lot of brand new people coming to this, uh, this gaming environment VR with flight simming and they need help. So I'm happy to help you guys out. But now you guys want to record VR. So we're going to get into that and I'm going to link the software below. So check that out. But the other thing is just remember, this is going to be for WMR headsets only. I'll do a quest to rift S video a little bit later on, but uh, welcome to the channel guys. Let's get into this. Okay, guys, here we go. Let's start with the tutorial now. The first thing we're going to do is download OBS. Go to obsproject.com. The main page, go to Windows, download this uh, software, click on it. Excellent. Great. It's a uh, pretty small, 72 megabytes. Install it. I normally suggest after doing something like that, reboot your computer. You don't have to, but if you want, go ahead and reboot it and then meet me back here. Now, when you run the software, it's going to look a little weird for me because I'm using this software to record. So it's kind of like a screen within a screen within a screen. Don't get too distracted by that. On the bottom right, we're going to go to settings and right over here. The first thing I'm going to say it's hotkeys. Set your hotkeys to record and uh, start recording and stop recording. As you can see, these are on my numpad. It helps out a lot when you're in VR, you have your goggles on, you can simply hit a button on your keypad uh, because you know where your keyboard is at. If it's on your lap, if it's in front of you on top of your yoke or to your side, you know how to reach over for your numpad and you can simply hit those buttons without even having to take off your headset. So we're going to go up to video right here, base and output. You want this 1920 by 1080. If you need to lower the output to 720 because your computer can't record or it's having a harder time because of your GPU, you can lower this, but I suggest having these both the same. Downscale filter, this is the highest one, Lanxos. If your image is a little, uh, has jagged edges, you're probably gonna be on bi-cubic or bi-linear. I would suggest go from those downscale filters to this one if you can run it, so play around with that. Now we're gonna go up one on audio. This is where you select your audio settings right here. What you want to record, it's what I have at the bottom. This is how you figure out whether or not you want your desktop volume on or what input it's coming from. Now output, briefly I'll go over what I have set up here. Normally it's gonna be on audio track one for the encoder. Since I have an RTX card I use, or GTX as well, I use NVIDIA NVENC H.264. I recommend you use that if you have a GTX a series or an RTX series. These pretty much encode your videos at minimal cost while you're playing. So it's pretty good. Now, my rate control, I suggest putting this CBR, bit rate 12,000 kilobytes, and these other items right there. For recording, this output mode at the top might be like basic or standard. Drop it down, go to advanced. It's gonna give you all these menus here. So choose your recording path for your encoder. Again, if you have an RTX, GTX set, uh, NVIDIA NVENC, the other option in there, it's gonna pretty much choose to record off your CPU. So I prefer to do it this way. It works really well because it doesn't affect my CPU at all. The other option under encoder will use your CPU more. And uh, so I can't see, I haven't used it too much, but give it a try. See if that other option works for you. Maybe for the uh, AMD users, I'm not sure, but maybe somebody can let me know in the comments. For rate control, uh, I have this set to CBR, uh, constant bit control, constant bit rate, I'm sorry. And then the bit rate is set to 30 kilobytes, 30,000 kilobytes, which is 30 megabytes. Preset quality, I have it set to, or preset sets of quality, profiles to high, max B frame set to two. And pretty much that's it for that. All right, guys, here we are for the next step. I'm gonna show you how to add the game. Now, right here on the bottom left under source, we're gonna go to plus, we're gonna go to game capture and just call it Microsoft Flight Sim. Now, keep in mind, this will work if you have a Quest 2. It will work if you have um, Steam VR, because right here under mode, you're going to select capture specific window. Under window this is where you would select Oculus Mirror, Steam VR. When you have that display, it's Mirror. Now, every 
one of those systems has like different visuals. So you'll see right now uh, the way I'm going to try to set you up with. Let's see. So for the first one, we're going to have the binocular vision, which you guys see here. Sorry that I'm moving it around, but I'm kind of stuck under this layer. And I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. I don't know if you guys can see that just yet. I think you can. I'm going to hit OK. So perfect. Now let's do this real fast. The webcam on the left, it, you need to slide this to the very top. That way the webcam is above the window. Now you can see when you slide your uh, Microsoft Light Sim back into frame, you're going to be good to go. Now this is what people want to avoid. You want to avoid this monocular vision. So two ways to do it. One way is to drag this whole image. You're going to grab it by the right side of your window, drag it to the far left, and then grab that red square and drag it to the right. Do that a few times and it'll pretty much take over the whole video. Or I'm sorry, the whole screen. And I have to tell you what I see on my headset looks so much better than what the screen is recording. It's, it's really huge. I mean, this looks so crisp in here, so sharp, so amazing. But then what the screen records through OBS, um, unfortunately is not that great. Um, it's just kind of the way that the, the software is. It's one of the things that's holding us back. So I'm going to give you a second way to record this, which is going to be through Windows Mixed Reality. So let's kind of move this out of the way if I can. Actually, let me figure this out real fast. All right, so we have the game really small up here. All right, let's stay in OBS. Under Window, again, this is where you would select Oculus Mirror, Steam VR Mirror, but we're going to select the Windows Mixed Reality Portal. Now check that out. Windows Mixed Reality Portal pretty much almost gets rid of it completely. But I don't know if you see it, although it does look good. It is introducing a weird stutter. So now, believe it or not, I don't see the stutter in my headset, but I do see it on the screen. So this is why I kind of tend to stay away from doing it this way, even though it might look a little cleaner. I'll keep playing with it, see if I find different settings, but uh, unfortunately recording Windows Mixed Reality gives me a stutter. So again, my favorite way to go is under window, you select the Microsoft Flight Sim EXE. You can see it's nice and smooth and pretty much you just drag your window over and and yeah so this is probably my my go-to this actually is my go-to method to record videos whenever i put any content online okay guys and so the last time i show you guys how to do is uh how to set up a green screen so it's really simple i recommend having really powerful lighting in your room right now i have this lamp right here behind me I have that same lamp over here, and then I have another light on my desk that's helping illuminate this. So, but check it out. So once you have the source set up here, which the way you do it, it's you go to plus video capture device. And then as you can see, you select your webcam and then under webcam, it's going to take you to a little menu that looks like this in which you would select your device USB, USB live camera. Uh, check your resolution right now. Mine wasn't set to 1080, uh, 1920 by 1080. So I had to go to custom and then drop down, but now it picked it up, which as you can see, I'm kind of cutting a little bit of it out for the video. I don't need the whole thing in there. Now, once we have that set up, we're going to go to properties. I lied to you. We're going to go to filter and under effect filters, select uh, the plus icon, go to chroma key and hit okay. So right now, this is saying the color key type, it's green. You can select blue, magenta, or custom. And anything that falls under green will pretty much uh, fall under the green screen. So we have this. And yeah. So now you could literally make yourself disappear if you wanted to. Let me see how this looks. I am, I am literally inside my browser. I am on this website. All right, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing right now. It could just be a floating head. A floating head that's just teaching you guys. Look how weird that is. Anyways, there's a green screen. If you guys want to do that, I have a green screen set up behind my computer. I'll show you now. 
But I do have a green screen to the left of my sim pit, and that's how I kind of get those shots with the webcam on the side and the green screen on the background. So guys, I hope you guys found that helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll help you guys out. But welcome to the channel. Don't forget to hit that uh, like button, subscribe. And if you don't like it, hit that thumbs down button two times. That helps me out and appreciate it. Welcome. Be well, guys.